Hello everyone and welcome back to your boy, The Sean Davey Way Show. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe on the way in. Tap that bell if you would like to be notified of all of our future content. Today, I bring you a quick surviving on Hollyweird. An NBA player by the name of Jalen Green and Josh Christopher have been caught in a very compromising LGBTQIA type of situation. Sorry to have to break the hearts of Houston Rockets fans, but it looks like your shooting guard has been guarding other male parts on and off the court. In the video that was leaked, which I believe the video was leaked because there's no way Jalen Green or Josh would want this video out there. I mean, if you go and look at it, I can't post it here, but I will post the steals from it. It's all over Twitter. If you look at the video, it is a very compromising position. I get that guys have horseplay and they play around and they do little, you know, bromance stuff here and there. But this goes a little bit beyond. As a bisexual male myself, not even my friends, my guy friends would play with me in this manner. But again, everybody's different to each his own. Let's jump into some of these articles about this viral video that's going around of Jalen Green in the bed with Josh if you want to see the full video, you can go over to my coffee. The link is in the description and also on my community feed here on YouTube to check out the full video of Jalen. It's Jalen Green gay. Jalen Green, an exceptional shooting guard for the Houston Rockets in the NBA, has recently become the center of attention due to his leaked video. This incident has caused controversy and spread gossip among fans on social media platforms. A video featuring Jalen Green and his teammate Josh Christopher was leaked and gained significant attention. While most mainstream social media platforms have removed the video, some of Jalen's devoted followers managed to save it and share it before its takedown. There is much more to tell you about the news, which you will find in the next section of this article. It is disheartening to witness some individuals exploiting this incident to engage in some harmful behavior including making derogatory comments and remarks about Jalen's sexual orientation. It is crucial to remember that the personal privacy and consent should always be respected. The actions played in the video should not serve as a basis for derogatory assumptions or judgments about someone's sexual orientation. There is much more to tell you about the news, which you will find here. Recently, this is a hot topic of gossip for all fans on social media. This news is gaining too much attention from people. There is no information available or revealed that Jalen Green is gay. It is important to respect an individual's privacy before and to not make assumptions. For everyone goes off calling Jalen gay, I will say this, Jalen does have a girlfriend and her name is Bria Hicks. She is an Instagram model and she used to date Diddy's son. Let's get into that. Shout out to the son. Who is Jalen Green's girlfriend, Bria Hicks? Outside of playing basketball, Green spends his time with his new girlfriend, Bria Hicks. Hicks is a model who is known for keeping her life private. With over 500,000 followers on Instagram, Hicks is a part of the Icon Model Agency. Hicks is most famously known for her previous six-year relationship to Christian Combs. Combs 23 is the son of famous rapper Sean Combs, who is also known as P. Diddy. The former couple officially ended things in April 2021 after alleged infidelities, lies, and the pair's lack of growth. Everyone is wishing them both nothing but positive energy, love, healing during this difficult time for both of them, a source close to the couple told Ace Showbiz following their split. Not 100% sure if Jalen and Bria are still in a relationship, but if they are, I'm sure Bria's not too happy right now. Again, there's nothing wrong with Jalen being gay, but if Jalen isn't gay, then it's a problem. Why it draws a problem is because you get a certain attention for a sexuality, and if you don't want said attention, then you shouldn't be garnishing it. And not just the sexuality, the whole lifestyle. If he is a heterosexual male, he should be treated as such. And if he's a gay male, he should be treated as such. But gay is not wrong. So if Jalen is gay, that's completely fine. But if he's straight, that's completely fine too. No one deserves to be called anything derogatory. So even if Jalen is gay, derogatory statements should not be being made based off an orientation. The video is compelling for Jalen to be on top of Josh like that, stroking and whatnot, 
and for Josh to have his legs open in the way that it was, it does go a little bit further than we're just joking around. And again, this video was never supposed to be out. And I believe it. If you see what's happening in it, these boys would not have wanted this out there. Like, absolutely not. That's why they've gotten it taken down immediately off the web because they know what this gives. It does not give heterosexual. So that is the problem. Again, it is very compelling. When I saw it, I thought it was two gay males playing around. I would have never thought that that was two straight guys joking around as I get jokes. Jokes are jokes. I completely get it. I'm not saying that this literally justifies them as being gay or people saying that they're gay are calling them gay. But at the same time, it is revealing. Revealing in the sense to where if people did say that this was what they're basing your sexuality off of, I can't really knock them for it because it does go again beyond you know, the normal horsing around horseplay, you know, bromancing type of situation. Like this goes far. Like I get it. Little Wayne has kissed baby and stuff like that. And they swear that it had nothing to do with anything sexual. But at the same time, that's kind of sexual. So why would I not side eye that situation? If you're going to side eye the kiss with Lil Wayne and Birdman, you're going to side eye this as well. So again, we'll keep our eyes open for the developments. I love you all. Until the next video. Bye. Bye.